Hey guys, what is up? Red Pet Mining here. I guess I'll do and hope you're all doing really well and have a really great day. In this video, I want to explain how to set up an Antminer S19J Pro. And specifically, this is a 104 terahash model. Thank you to Crypto Miner Bros for sending me this model for review. And so for those that may stumble upon this video wondering how to set up an Antminer S19J, I want to explain first how to get it mining and such on a mining pool, how to remote into the machine. So I'm gonna explain all that stuff first and then after that, I wanna explain the power situation that I have going on powering this single Bitmain Antminer S19J on 240 volts, 30 amp, okay? So I wanna explain all that within this video, but first, let's get straight into it for those that are wondering that may have already plugged in their Antminer S19J Pro or similar, I'm gonna show you all how to connect to it and set it all up and get it mining. It's pretty straightforward, very easy. So first, we're gonna go ahead, download IP Reporter from bitmain.com themselves, all right? This is on their support website. I'll have it linked down below so you guys can download this as well if you need. We're gonna click on download. Let's do this, we're gonna do this real time. So it's mostly gonna save into your downloads folder. So you're gonna hit save. Then it will go into right there as downloaded. Now you wanna to go to your downloads folder. We're gonna to go to the file explorer. Go to my downloads folder. Now we are gonna right click it as we need to extract this zip file that we just downloaded. Okay, extract to IP reporter or you can do extract to here, but we're just gonna do it to another folder here, just like that. Now we're gonna go into the folder and all we need to do now is right click it and run as administrator. And then we're gonna hit yes and this is gonna come up. Now depending if you are doing this on a wireless laptop like I am, you wanna make sure you're on the same network that you have the LAN cable plugged in onto your S19J. So if you have just a simple home network, you're most likely gonna be fine because your wireless network is gonna be on the same network that uh, you may have a LAN network. But if you have multiple subnets or VLANs or stuff like that, then I don't need to explain this part. But anyways, next part you'll need to do is click on start. Okay, and uh, in case you might get this firewall, Windows Defender firewall, you're gonna hit allow. So now IP Reporter is ready to find the ASIC miner. So simply what we're gonna do, you're gonna wanna click on the IP Report button on your ASIC miner. So we're gonna just hold it down for, I believe five seconds. Three, four, five. Okay, and let go and it's gonna flash and then the computer will show up this. It looks like it found it, confirmation and it shows what IP it is and the MAC address. And so what we're gonna do actually is remember this IP address because that's all we need to do now. So we're gonna hit okay. And then you're gonna take that IP address and we're gonna go to a new tab on the browser and we're gonna type in 10.10.0.112. So for you guys, it may look different, but this is what my LAN network uh, subnet is. So I'm gonna hit enter and you're probably gonna get this. So next thing you're gonna do, default password for this S19J Pro is gonna be root and root. So I'm gonna put root and then password is root. And of course we can change all of this once we are inside. And so you will get the whole web GUI, the whole web interface for this S19J just like this. All right, so next thing you wanna do, so if you wanna start mining right away, obviously that's what we're trying to do here, is now you wanna select your mining pool and there are many, many mining pools out there. I'm not gonna tell you which one's the best one because we have absolutely no idea. There are so many, you guys should do your own research. But for this example, just go to miningpoolstats.stream and you will see all the different mining pools and just click on each one to see which one gives you the features that you like. So for today's example, I'm gonna show you guys poolin.com. And I'm not affiliated or sponsored by any of these mining pools or poolin. So I already made my poolin account here and uh, you guys will have to do the same. Make your account on whichever mining pool that you like. But going along, we're gonna go to pool account on Poolin. And then for me, we're gonna go to sub manage account. So you can use any name you like. We're just gonna go RPM S19J Pro as an example. 
and uh, there can't be any capitals, it has to be all lowercase. Just like that, anything that you guys like, maybe zero, one or something in case you have multiple ASICs or something or multiple farms, multiple, you can create multiple sub accounts if you want on Poolin. So we're gonna select BTC and that is selected and we're gonna do receive with mining pool account. Now the reason why we do this and there are other ways you can do it as well, receive with Poolin wallet or the BTC address. With the mining pool account on Poolin, you can withdraw it with any time as it's gonna mine into your pool account, the Bitcoin, and then I'll show you guys the withdrawal after, all right? I'll show you guys in a second here. But the main thing as well is uh, you, there's also some interest earning as well, which is pretty cool. Okay, so going down, then we just need to hit create and it will create your account. Now we need to add in the minor configuration into the S19J, okay? So where we connected to it, all right, where we connected to it earlier, the web GUI like this, we need to go into settings. Now we need to add in the mining address, the miner name, the password, and all of this information is already here, right here for you. So all we need to do is hit copy, and then we're gonna go back here. We're gonna paste the mining address here. We're gonna hit paste, so that's the first one. Go back, copy the second one. Go back to here. We're gonna paste it into the second pool account there, just like that. Third one, we're gonna hit copy, and we're gonna go back and paste that into here very easily. There we go, we have all the mining addresses there. Now we need the miner name. Now that was also specified under here. So the worker name, we're gonna copy this. So right click, copy. And you're gonna paste that into all three of these miner names here, okay? Like this. Okay, next step is we wanna add the password and according to pool in here, we need to add one, two, three to the password portion of your miner right here, okay? So we're gonna add that in, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Now, that is all we need to do, fan speed. Now, that's gonna depend on how hot or cold, what your ambient temperature is gonna be in wherever you're mining. So for me, right now, it is 77 Fahrenheit where I am mining right now. So it's not that bad. It's pretty good right now, but as this thing is gonna turn on in mine, it's gonna be pretty hot. So we're just gonna leave that as is. We're gonna go save. Of course, you can change that anytime. And so now, that's it, you're done. It's gonna start mining and you are golden. It's mining Bitcoin and it's gonna go into your pool-in account or wherever you mine. So for me, it's gonna go here and I can simply withdraw it at any time, okay? So you can see the pool-in account here and it shows, you know, there's interest earning and there's the APY and then there's the withdrawal you can do right here. So this is where you can withdraw the Bitcoin when you feel you have enough to withdraw to your Bitcoin address, wherever, wherever that's a, you know, a, a wallet on your phone, like Trust Wallet or Zalcor or a hardware wallet, which I highly recommend those to get. And oh man, this thing is getting quite loud now because it is now mining. And so it actually just rebooted after I did the IP settings. Uh, just to show you guys, now it is mining, okay? Almost, uh, looks like it's ramping up to uh, 104 terahash, which is gonna be pretty massive. And then it's probably gonna connect to pool in here real quick. So if we click into the sub account, and yeah, you can see the hash rate is starting to rise, okay? So that's a good sign. So it, it is connecting now, so there you go. It's mining now. And funny enough, the fan noise, it hasn't ramped up yet because I believe the fan is at auto, but it is pumping a decent amount of heat right now. So I bet in about 10 minutes, maybe later, it's gonna start getting a lot hotter in here. So I'm gonna be watching my temperature and I do hear the fans ramping up now. You guys can probably hear that in the video. So before it gets even worse, I wanna quickly explain my power situation. All right, so how I'm powering my S19J Pro. So it is being run into a mainly first out of a 240 volt 30 amp breaker. And just before I explain everything else, I wanna have a disclaimer, make sure you have a proper electrician wire this all, okay? And so going into this 30 amp 240 volt breaker is 10 gauge wiring coming from this cable here going into a 30 amp 
receptacle, all right? 240 volt, 30 amp receptacle. And so in my case, I have a Space Goat's power meter here, and this is where I have my power distribution unit plugged into the 30R uh, receptacle plug, okay? And so that goes into this power distribution unit here, and you guys can see how much power I'm drawing right now actually on Space Goat's power meter. We can see I am drawing about 3,200 watts at the wall at about 238 volts. And then the S19J Pro requires two C13 to C14 cables, as you guys can see here. I'll have that link down below so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But I guess the biggest question is, some people may be asking Red Panda, what does 240 volt or 30 amp mean? And it's because the capacity coming out of this breaker, all right, 240 volt times 30 amp is 7200. Okay, if you did the math there, that means that's 7200 watts max capacity. Now, we are wanting to do the 80% rule, and so we want to make sure we don't go up past 24 amps or 5760 watts, okay, at 240. All right, we want to make sure we stay around that 80% rule. Uh, just just for safety and all that kind of stuff, right? We want to be mindful of that. So we are under that 5,760 watt capacity 80% rule. So we're at 3,200 right now on a single S19J. Now, I have seen other methods, other people powering S19s with a single 20 amp 240 volt, okay? There are breakers out there that are 20 amp, 240 volt as well. And that will require a different gauge of wiring. Instead of 10 gauge, I think it's maybe 12 gauge. But always talk to your electrician, don't listen to me. And the 20 amp, 220, 240 volt plug is gonna be different than the L630R, okay? There's, I think it's an L620R. But in my situation, I just explained all that to you guys. My 30 amp power distribution unit, the way that I have it plugged in. Always talk to a certified electrician to get that all wired up and uh, you guys will be golden, okay? So that's just something, you know, before you wanna get set up or maybe wondering about buying or getting into ASIC mining, uh, you gotta be mindful of your the power that you're gonna be needing for mining at home like this as a residential miner. So anyways guys, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts and uh, let me know if that helped you guys getting into just setting it up in Windows in mining in the web GUI, setting it up on a mining pool. If that was easy to understand, let me know down below. All right, I appreciate you all. I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna do a test uh, to see how hot it's gonna get. <laughs> Temperature's already rising in my garage here. So I'm gonna have another video how I can handle the heat of this. And it is winter time right now, so it is nice to mine with this for now. But I don't know if this is gonna keep climbing and it may get too hot. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.